For centuries, matter has been considered as being made up of particles, conceived as tiny spheres of various sizes, held together by different forces acting at the corresponding scale. These forces can and have been thought of as imaginary strings. These imaginary strings represent the electromagnetic force between molecules, between atoms and between electrons in the atomic nucleus, represent the strong nuclear force that keeps quarks together within neutrons and protons. But let us now look inside these quarks. What if, at an even more fundamental level, we have to let go of the concept of particles, and strings are no longer an imaginary representation of forces, but actually the basic constituents of matter? This is the groundbreaking proposal of the string theory. In order to estimate the distance to the day's prey, early human hunters only needed to consider one-dimensional paths, or a combination thereof. In agricultural societies, geometry was developed in order to keep track of the two-dimensional areas of plantations or private property. In order to lift off, people had to imagine a third dimension, the very third dimension that elevators introduced to buildings. The 20th century began with the unification of space and time. The resulting space-time was four-dimensional and had very important practical applications, from space travel down to the now-so-familiar GPS. Will string theory become the theory of the 21st century? If so, it will bring about the need of not five, nor six, nor seven dimensions, not ten, but eleven dimensions. If the journey from one to four dimensions has taken us from prehistorical hunting societies to the era of space travel, what will not be possible with a leap to eleven dimensions? Stay put and watch this space. We have reached the era of string theory.